Hello and welcome to my video on levers and fulcrums. A lever can be described as a rigid body that rotates about a fulcrum and a fulcrum is the pivot about which the lever can turn. Alright, so there are many examples of levers and there are many applications of levers in everyday life. Uh, a common example of a lever is the door handle uh, on a door, a wheelbarrow and many tools use levers to work. Okay, my first example of a lever and a fulcrum. The nail into the piece of wood here is the fulcrum. The set of pliers, when attached, can act as a lever. So this is the fulcrum and this is the lever. The lever rotates around the fulcrum like so. Another example is a spanner, another two. So here is the fulcrum here is the lever. The lever can rotate all the way around the fulcrum, like so. Okay, and finally, my last example is a hammer that can lift the fulcrum out. So the hammer is attached here to the fulcrum. The hammer is attached to the fulcrum here and can lift out the nail like that. Okay, my last example of a lever here is the door handle. This part of the door handle is the fulcrum. This long part here is the lever. The lever can rotate around the fulcrum like so. Now we're going to take a look at how the law of the lever works. The law of the lever states that a lever is balanced when the sum of the anti-clockwise turning effects equals the sum of the clockwise turning effects. This lever here is balanced because the sum of the anti-clockwise turning effects equals the sum of the clockwise turning effects. Okay? Now the lever is not balanced because the anti-clockwise turning effects acting on this side of the lever are greater than the clockwise turning effects acting here. Similarly, on this side the lever is not balanced and therefore the clockwise turning effects are greater than the anti-clockwise turning effects on this side.